Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic utterance to start your day. The Lord is saying today, there is nothing that is impossible for me, my child. So do not allow fear and doubt to enter your thoughts this day, but rather only be concerned that you are submitted to my life daily to do my will. Yes, my child, you do this by yielding daily to my Holy Spirit and standing firmly upon the promises of my word in this dark world. For remember, you are the light within this dark world and you bring hope to the hopeless as you stay in my presence and my will. Allow others to see me in your actions, my child. Yes, everything, because you may be the only Bible anyone ever gets to read. For you are the light in the darkness. Learn to keep your behavior excellent, even among those that are yet to be saved and still in darkness. Yes, walk in integrity, that your conduct may be without fault and always honorable, so that whatever reason your enemies may slander you falsely of, they will not be able to deny your good deeds. Yes, for one day they will be reminded of my light that was inside of you and see the error of their way. So therefore pray that it is not too late for some that choose not to come to my light. Yes, live for me with all of your heart, mind and soul, my child, even if it means to stand alone. I am calling you to come out of your comfort zone, my child. Yes, I am not interested in part-time custody, but full-time custody of my children. Don't just make me a part of your life, but make me all of your life, my child. Your life was never meant to be lived in a comfort zone, but in my time. Yes, I created you to make an impact for me in this world. You must learn to die to yourself each day by picking up your cross and following after me wholeheartedly. My child, taking up a cross and denying yourself is not a comfortable action. But remember, I endured the cross also to the very end. I want you to be willing to step outside your comfort zone into my perfect will and into any situation that I may place you in, my child. At times you may feel your Christian will wall is unfamiliar territory. That's right. Then that is because I'm calling you to go by faith and not by sight and that you are familiar to you. That's right. That is not familiar to you. You may have a false sense of security within your comfort zone, but I am calling you out of your comfort zones. See, the enemy likes to fight you in your comfort zones, for he knows that what is binding you in that comfort zone. Take your fight into the spiritual realm by praying in the spirit. And when you are in the spirit realm praying, I take over your battles. Yes, don't fight the enemy in your comfort zone, but change the battlegrounds so that I can take charge through your earnest prayers. Whatever is stopping you making or making you procrastinate, my child, it is time to shake it off today and follow after me wholeheartedly. I want you to be so on fire for me that you will go beyond your comfort zone and stretch out your boundaries. Don't be worried about the things that you seem to think are permanent, my child, but they are really only temporary. Yes, that situation that of the loved one that you've been praying for for so long and you feel as though there is no change and there is no hope. The final finances that you've been praying for, but don't see a way out. I am making a way out, my child, even through the deserts. Yes, I am fighting your battles and things are going to change in your favor, though that may seem and look 
permanent to you now. It really only is temporary, my child, but I'm about to turn it around, for breakthrough is headed your way as you learn to remain in me. That's right. It's time to enlarge your tent pegs until my vision and divine purpose for your life is achieved. Now, I know that you've had disappointments, my child, especially with recent circumstances, and there are those that have let you down. Yes, man will let you down and even lie to you, but my word does not lie, my child, and it will stand the test of time. Yes, for heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word will stand the test of time. Remember, I am not a man that I should lie like the world lies to you so put your trust in me afresh today and as you push in prayer I will bring the breakthroughs to pass as I have promised yes just as the light penetrates the darkness so shall your breakthroughs come about and every hindrance be blown away in the light of my promises know that I am for you today and that I am with you and not against you my child so be at peace this day my child shalom praise the Lord precious saints And as we turn to the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verses 1 to 5, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was on the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. So the evening and the morning were the first day. We also see according to John 8 verse 12, Jesus said, when Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Hallelujah. So what was the light that God called good and chased away the darkness from creation? We find clues as we also read from the Gospel of John, written thousands of years later, according to John 1 verses 3 to 5. It says, All things were made through him. Without him, nothing was made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. Hallelujah. See, just as the Genesis light chased away the darkness of newly created world, the incarnate light of Jesus was needed to dispel the darkness of sin, which had found its way into the human heart. See, now, not just myself, but many others believe that the darkness of moral and spiritual gloom that confronts the world today is greater than any period in history, precious saints. It would seem many are draining or drowning, should I say, in sin and despair. And as though there is no escape and the only hope would be from God above. See, imagine 3,000 years ago, David cried out to God according to Psalm 121 verse 2. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and the earth. See, in the midst of a dark world today, you find yourself also struggling with everything going on. How do you respond to the darkness around you today? Do you curse it and wish that it wasn't there? Or do you light a candle, even a small one, and drive back the darkness? Have you forgotten the words of Jesus Christ to those that follow him? He said, you are the light of the world, 
precious saints. As we move through a dark world, our purpose and our function in life should only be to be a light, but not only to be a light, but also to light others up also. Imagine a person who sits and curses the darkness, meaning your struggles and the struggles around you in this dark world only adds to their own misery. See, the answer is to do something, no matter how insignificant it may be. To drive back the darkness, your duty is to punch holes into that darkness with the light of Christ that is in you. Imagine the Apostle Paul who wrote these words to the Philippians. Yes, imagine this. Philippians, according to the second chapter, verse 15, it says that you may become blameless and harmless children of God without in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation. Among you shine as lights in this world. Remember, the smallest of light is greater than the most powerful of darkness, precious saints. God has called you to be his light. Yes, Jesus said, you are the light of the world. A light in the world of darkness is the answer to the moral and the spiritual chaos that confronts us each and every day. If you turn on the TV and just listen to the news, it's all gloom and doom. But when you open up the word of God and speak the words of Jesus as you speak them, because hearing comes, how does it? Faith comes from hearing and hearing of the word of God, and it builds up your faith. Who knows? Your spark in this dark world may start a wildfire of God's revival throughout a dark world that needs Jesus more now than ever before, precious saints. God is calling you to be the light in the midst of the darkness. Yes, to be the fragrance of Christ in a dark world, to draw people closer to Jesus Christ, who is the hope of all glory. He is the hope of all nations. Only Jesus Christ working through you as you are a light in the darkness. Never underestimate the power of that light. And even in your weakness, Jesus says that I am your strength. Allow Christ to work through you today through the power of the Holy Spirit that he may bring change, that you will come out of that comfort zone and move into the destiny that Christ has already pre-planned before the beginning even of this world. Before you were in your mother's womb, God had a plan and a purpose for you, precious saints. Let us pray now, precious saints. Heavenly Father, we thank you in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. As we begin a new day, help us to engage your will with a reckless faith. Teach us to trust in you and help us grow in righteousness. Heavenly Father, give us the courage to step out in faith this day. Fill our hearts with your spirit and let us speak your words today with hope and faith, knowing that you're going to answer. Heavenly Father, we praise your holy name. We thank you for your son, Jesus. We thank you for sending him. We shout out with joy in your presence within our lives and for the anointing power of your Holy Spirit, which is helping us to go deeper into your truths and soar higher in your power. We turn our eyes to the heavens, anticipating new wisdom and deeper insights into your sacred truths. We praise you that the more and more each day that we praise you, that we are drawing closer to you, Lord, that we are becoming more confident about who we are in you. And we praise you that the kingdom that you are establishing right now on this earth cannot be shaken. Lord, our hearts are flooded with joy, knowing that your surrendered ones, even as they listen, are being mightily touched right now, and that you will use them for your glory, and that you are strengthening them and filling them with your power, Lord, that is being made available to each of them as they listen to this prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you as we cry out today for those 
Christians that are still in bondage, that are leading and living a defeated life. Heavenly Father, come and release them in the name of Jesus. We ask you to release them from their own tunnel vision that prevents them from seeing beyond their own individual circumstances. We pray, Jesus, that every ounce of our faith that they also have right now, they will come to understand who they are in you and begin to exert their authority, they will start to exercise that authority over the dark places that hold them captive in the night. Heavenly Father, feed them. Lord, we cry, Lord, with manna from heaven that fills their hunger and sustains them on their journey to the river of life where their thirst will be filled. Feed them with your truths so that they will grow stronger and be hope-filled. Fill them with your heart's desires. Lord, we praise your holy name for what you are doing in this hour. We thank you, Lord, that you would strengthen them to go beyond their comfort zones this very day. We pray for all that hear this prayer, that they will have holy and pure motives, whatever they are presently placed in the body of Christ. Lord, we pray like David, they will have hearts of worship as they have their sword in one hand and also their praying hand in another. And Lord, we pray that they would give them that security of knowing you daily and each day. We choose today to take refuge in you. We choose to fear you, Lord, and not man. We choose to have obedience and willingness and submission over pride. Lord, we are blessed beyond measure already. And we praise and thank you that you have provided a way of escape for each person, knowing that we will lack no good thing and we will seek first your kingdom and your righteousness above all else. Heavenly Father, come and bless those people today. Touch them. Give them the grace to carry on. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. This is Pastor Robert Clancy from Narrow Path Ministries in Perth, Western Australia. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, shalom, shalom, shalom. And if you've liked this utterance today, we encourage you to subscribe to the YouTube channel. And you can also hit the notification button. Don't forget to also follow us on Facebook and Instagram. You can also go to our free website, repentancerevival.com. And don't forget, precious saints, this is day 17 of the 21 days of prayer and fasting to pursue God, to draw closer to God and in His Word. Now, if you're just hearing this for the first time, you can join this 21-day prayer program. You can even go and start from day one, and you can actually plan out how you will do this fast. You may only want to skip one meal. You may uh, not eat between 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. And then, or you may want to do uh, a Daniel fast. You may want to do any fast. There's many options. You may just want to give up worldly things for this period of time. Whatever it is, you can join and God will make it Uh, possible for you to join and give you the grace to get through. You may just want to start with us for this last week and By all means, you can do that also, precious saints. But there is a Bible program for you to go into the Bible to read one chapter of the book and the gospel of John each day. So I just encourage you to participate, get your families involved, get someone involved that you may join together to see your breakthrough, to see your setbacks be turned into your greatest comebacks. So from my family to yours, God bless you. We love you. We are praying for you, precious saints. Shalom, shalom, shalom.